Hi guys and welcome to today's episode of Product MT's Holiday Sale episode. Take two. Roll sound. Rolling. Sound production. Take two. Hi guys, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I am going to go back to doing one of my OG favorite beauty content bucket things to do. Product empties. I love talking about product empties because I always land up giving you a gist and final thoughts, kind of like a complete summed up review of each of these products. I have a really big box over here next to me. I don't think we'll be able to get through this entire box in today's video, but I'm gonna pull out the very beauty beauty items. I'm not gonna pull out like my lens solution, for example, and uh, we're gonna dive into it and uh, really discuss everything about these products let's not make this intro any longer and let's dive right into it starting out with a product you have seen me review and talk about way too many times here i have the clinique ttdo which is the take the day off this is a product i absolutely love if you are in normal to dry skin girly this is something you must try this is something you must get your hands on it makes your makeup come off so easily it melts into your skin i used to receive these in pr when i used to get clinique pr i stopped getting i feel like i've mentioned this somewhere before but i stopped getting pr from this and the sister brands a while back because of a various set of reasons and i'm okay with it i love my integrity more than anything else and my loyalty towards my towards my followers more than anything but i love clinique's skincare in general is absolutely amazing this melting balm has to be one of my absolute favorite products to take my makeup off with a close second that i have to this would be the one size makeup dissolving mist which makes my life really really simple there is a short somewhere that i posted a mini review of on this channel i'll go ahead and leave a link into that for you to know what that product is like this one retails at about 3200 rupees for the full size tub and then about 1200 ish something for the smaller size i recommend you probably trying out the smaller one first and seeing how it works for you before you go ahead and make the bigger spend i love this i repurchase the big one over and over i don't care if a brand doesn't send me pr or if there's issues that have happened in the past with any brand out there to be honest if i love a product i will purchase it and give you a very honest review about it whether i love or hate a product and that rule even applies to when i receive pr from brands and don't like their products some brands can handle that and some brands can't handle that it is what it is then we have the requel vitamin c toner loved 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 using this i haven't gone back to it because i'm using something else right now but as a product especially if you're looking out for vitamin c would definitely recommend i'm not really big 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 on the actives like for example i don't use retinol vitamin c is one of the few actives i really do use on a regular basis of course i've tried various ahas bhas but i haven't really fully incorporated them into my routine as i know so be my friends and peers have for that matter um simple things work for my skin i don't like to over complicate it i try things every once in a while some stick some don't stick Requel does some really fantastic formulas though i must mention for example their tinted sun sunscreen is one of my favorites to use i keep wiping my hands with the tissue because a lot of these products have been sitting in the box for a while and uh, it's gotten a little bit moist there to put it nicely Okay this one is one of my absolute 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 favorites. I have the Murad vitamin C and glycolic serum here. I love this product. I love 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 this product. I have restocked this product and I feel like it you can genuinely see and feel forget see. Some people may see, some people may not see. I can feel the difference on my skin. This is my go-to vitamin C serum that's out there. I love how it comes with a dual cartridge. I love how cuz vitamin C can be really really tricky and it can be really unstable. I love how none of this is sponsored, just FYI. I mean, I do work with Murad on Instagram and this and that, but I genuinely gravitate towards the vitamin C serum. And I'm just giving you a little bit of information as to why this is more superior in my eyes than most of the vitamin Cs that I've tried. It's because it really does come with this dual cartridge where your vitamin c stability gets preserved a lot of the vitamin c's that i've tried um you land up seeing a change in color and a change in smell a change in consistency even for that matter cannot say that for this stays exactly the same through and through again probably because the ingredient list um and a little bit of research will tell you they don't use ascorbic acid in this they actually use gold stabilized vitamin c which is a little bit more superior so if you are in the market for a really good vitamin c i would recommend you check this one out 
Okay, then I have the Zilch Swoosh Micellar Water. Really nice, does what any other micellar water does. Very easy and works really well for a friend of mine who has super sensitive skin as well. So gonna throw that mention in there. Are there things that'll do a similar thing at a lower price? Yeah, probably. This one retails at 700 rupees. It's nice. I mean, there's nothing to write home about when it comes to a micellar water unless it's something that's really special to me. I love how I'm saying that and that the next product is a, is a micellar water that I can't get over and that I seem to keep going back to. So clearly there is something really right you can do with a micellar water also. I'm sorry that this has no branding on it. It's because I needed some bottles for a picture I was doing for a random campaign. This product empties box has been sitting next to me for a while and I did that campaign shot two months ago, I think, and I took everything off. There'll be one or two other products. Yeah, see, there's this also that I uh, <laughs> took the branding off. We'll get to that in a minute. This over here, if you have been following me for a while, you know it has to be the Garnier Bifacic Micellar Water. Now the funny thing is in the Garnier uh, range, the normal micellar water again is okay, similar to you know what I showed earlier. Nothing to write home about, specifically. Works, works. But this oil uh, infused one, the Bifacic one is so good. I can have the most stubborn makeup on my face and this product will take it right off i usually like to use this with a cotton pad but i have friends who kind of like to pour it in their hand and massage it onto their skin which is a recent discovery of mine do whatever floats your boat i belong to the no judge club for me i prefer the cotton pad way and uh, it takes off literally full coverage long lasting makeup that like is just very bulletproof i should say um in the drugstore range, that has to be my absolute favorite makeup remover. And then in the luxury range, I already mentioned to you, it would be clean. Since I have this in my hand, I wasn't gonna, I really genuinely wasn't planning to show you lens solutions, but since we're at it, I use um, Renew quite a bit. This is a Bosch and Long product. I have really high power in my eyes. I'm gonna throw this down. <laughs> my bin is a little bit far i'll throw everything together i promise i have a really high power in my eyes and i have a minus 6.5 in both my eyes in case you're curious so i cannot see much without my lenses on um and i keep going back and repurchasing those over and over again then we have the l'oreal siri expert this one is the gold quinoa and protein uh, variant it's the mask the absolute repair mask anything from this range i will feed my hair in a heartbeat i'm currently using one of the other variants the pink one. Oh god i can't remember the exact ingredient um call out like the variant name but it's the pink one i'll leave a picture over here i love it this entire range i love everything they do with l'oreal with their scalp advanced range with this I just feel like my hair feels really, really, really nice and soft. I want to give you one more option over here and I'm only giving you this one more option because I recently tried this and I loved it. The Be Blunt uh, hair mask that comes with a self-heating cap. Technically, that would be in my empties, but it's a use and throw set. So I don't have that on me. I used it and I threw it. My hair felt so, so, so good after using that. I'll link that one in as well down below. Of course, I'm going to be linking everything that I like down below in the description section. Okay, another conditioner I really, 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 really like. The Murumuru Damage Repair Conditioner from Recoil. Recoil really, truly does do some really great products. I have used this uh, quite a bit. I didn't end up repurchasing it to be honest only because there were so many other things and I always received so much PR but if I was an actively looking out for purchase customer please keep in mind I have a lot of PR that comes in and I try to use whatever I think will work for me there are times I throw out things after one or two uses because I realize nah I'm not I'm not going to use things just because they're here. But having said that, I also don't need to go out and purchase a lot when it comes to shampoos and conditioners because PR is a lot of PR. This one came to me in PR. Um, I feel like I did purchase one more version and I never went back to repurchasing it. My memory is hazing me a little bit over here. So I can't remember whether I used one or two tubes of this. But I remember it being a really, really good product. Then we have another Murumuru product, the Murumuru Butter and Rose Aroma Beautiful Moisture Body Wash from Love, Beauty and Planet. I've only used a couple of different variants, fragrances, whatever you want to call them, scent families um, from this brand and I've liked everything I've tried so far. This one in particular has the most beautiful, beautiful smell. I am a body wash kind of gal. I know that a lot of people have switched over to like soap bars and stuff and there's something beautiful and nostalgic about it and every once in a while I'll open 
on and use it if I have something that's come in PR. Um, but what I actively go towards and purchase are more like body washes, shower gels, and the smell of this, the fragrance of this, is absolutely fantastic. So recommending it for sure. I said I wouldn't go through this entire box, but I'm feeling kind of proud of myself that I'm not over chatting about any products so we're able to go through them faster. This one over here is the LA Vedic's Golden Turmeric and Vitamin E Body Scrub. I received this in PR not from the brand but I think I received it in like part of some bigger hamper or something like that and I loved it. I ate this one uh. up in like less than 15 days. It is ate in the sense when I literally kaya nahi don't worry I fed it to my body and uh, it is absolutely squeaky clean. It is such a good product it made my skin like it exfoliated my skin but it also buttered up my skin um it's got turmeric and vitamin e in it so in my head i clearly while using it i didn't pay attention to that or maybe i've forgotten about it now because like i said box has been sitting there for a while um would highly highly recommend how much was this for i should be able to tell you whether it's worth it or not 6.99 which is really not bad but this is for how many grams how many grams 120 ml so i'm gonna leave it to you to decide whether this was worth it or not would i go ahead and repurchase this yeah because i know what it did to my skin there are certain products that make you feel like oh my god i love what this is doing to my skin that's what this one did to me again another unbranded one because like i said i needed to remove some for a picture i mentioned that earlier this is a bath and body works moisturizer unfortunately do not remember which variant it is but safe to say i must have really loved it for it to be this empty very few bath and body uh, works products that i have not liked so yeah because they do amazing fragrances i'm gonna be really honest about that okay this one oh god I wish I knew who to give credit to. You know, sometimes when you give gifts and presents to people and then you don't put your name on it, this came in a big set of Bath & Body products. This one is from Marks & Spencer's Beauty and the exact name is Royal Jelly with Pure Honey. I wish I could credit my friend, some friend, which friend, I don't know, who introduced this to me because it came in one of my birthday hampers and there was no name on it. And it's really weird to go around texting all your friends and be like, who gave me this? But... Whoever gave this to me, if you're watching this video, can you reach out so I can thank you? Because there was about five or six of them and I have lapped all of them up. And this was, I think, the last one and probably my favorite. I didn't even know Marks & Spencer's has their own beauty lines until I got down to using this shower gel. And um, absolutely fantastic. Smell, fragrance, great. But I think what it did to my skin is what really stayed with me. I am someone who has really dry skin. My face skin is normal to dry, but my body skin is like sandpaper. Really, I mean, there's no other example I have to give you. My skin is ridiculously dry and this product worked for me. So, Marks & Spencer's Beauty, you know what you're doing. If I thought Marks & Spencer's Beauty knew what they were doing, obviously Dove also knows what they're doing. I cannot do without these moisturizers. I always have backup stock at any point of time if somebody goes into my room they'll see about five to six moisturizers lined up because it depends on what I feel like on that day and at least two to three of them will be dove I don't need to deep dive into these products but just so you know we have the light hydration nutri duo over here moisturization for up to 48 hours and then I have the deeply nourishing body wash over here again from the Nutrium moisture range both of these were fantastic. Shower gel, moisturizer, would recommend both. And linking both for you down below. My little table is getting hijacked with all these products. The Maybelline Master Fix Makeup Locking Spray is really nice. Nothing like the Max Fix Plus. You know what I mean? The Max Fix Plus is fantastic. Um, but this is really good for the drugstore category. Really, really good. I do think Maybelline does fantastic products. I'm not going to deep dive into this one because I feel like everyone has different expectations out of their um, sprays. Also, sprays can be really tricky in terms of personal experience because it has so much to do with what you have kept underneath. For example, if you are wearing fully matte makeup and then spraying a dewy spray, you're gonna you're not gonna completely meet the result so there's so many combinations and variables um i would recommend let me put it like that and leave that there then we have the pixie milky tonic this is made of jojoba milk and oat soothing toner i really do like pixie products in fact 
I have one of my dreamy mists sitting right here. This is not an empty. It's literally something that's just at my table because I was using it. Um, I do really like their toners quite a bit. A whole host of their like glow tonics, toners, some of their serums I use on the regular. Um, milky tonic would I recommend? I would recommend if you have dry skin. It looks like we are getting through most of this box today. Um, I have the Anomaly shampoo over here. This is the hydrating shampoo for dry hair. The thing with Anomaly is that I really like their shampoos, their conditioners I would kind of skip and then their dry shampoo in leave-in conditioner I really 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 like. So um, that's where I'm at when it comes to this. I do really like this shampoo. The hydration shampoo for me is right at the top when it comes to the shampoos because there's a black variant also which I think is called the cleansing one. That one was okay okay. This one was far better for me as just an overall washing experience and how my hair felt. Um, yeah, but if there was one product you absolutely had to buy from Anomaly, I would say it would need to be the dry shampoo. I'm a big dry shampoo girl. Like I have dry shampoo in my hair that I sprayed just before sitting down to film this because my top of the hair is getting a little bit greasy. We're in Mumbai where it's really humid right now and I feel like we're going through one of the worst heat uh, spells ever. So yeah. Then we have the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is a little mini travel sized one. Again, I feel like when it comes to makeup lasting sprays, everyone has different approaches on what they're looking for. But this is one of the best sprays I have ever tried. I had a full size version of this also somewhere. If it's not in my empties, it's probably in my cupboard and has probably expired by now. I should throw that out, I'm realizing. Um, if there was one setting spray that you needed to buy and I would recommend you to get your hands on, it would be this one. I know we don't get Urban Decay in India, but you can always look up when you're traveling or you can always look up Cosme Cosmetic Club because I feel like I've gotten a lot of my international makeup from them, from her. The founder's name is Zeb and she's always done a really good job in getting me the makeup that I want works promptly not a huge price jump i mean obviously they're gonna charge you a margin because you're they shipping the products from the us to you um but i have purchased from her a bunch of times and i think that they do a good job so in case you're looking at somewhere to get all of these brands that we don't get in india there i've given you a recommendation now i have the hyaluronic serum over here from dot and key which is really really nice i'm a big ha junkie you'll also know that i have this in a couple of my products with verified i love the idea of makeup infused with skincare and uh, hyaluronic serum in general is something that i do reach for and use actively and this one is a really really good one and then here i have the teeniest meaniest hydro boost water gel from neutrogena it is so tiny i think i barely used it like once or twice would recommend this if you have normal to oily skin the thing with me is that i use gel based moisturizers only pre makeup um, for example, and I think I should have it somewhere here. Yeah, it's always in my drawer. I love the Clinique Moisture Surge, but I, it's here because I only use it before my makeup. I don't go to bed with a gel-based moisturizer simply because I have really dry skin like I've already mentioned. So um, if you're an oily skin girl and looking for a suggestion, I suggest this. And if you are a dry skin girl, clearly I have you covered. I have the Avene Moisturizer over here. This is the creme nutritive comp it's in french why am i reading the french one uh it's a rich compensating cream that's easier for me to say really nice deeply nourishing i like to put my moisturizer as my very last step of my routine um it'll be like cleanser toner serum moisturizer and then if i'm putting an oil then the oil will come even after the moisturizer but i don't put oil every night you know what i mean um so this is where i'm at would recommend again i feel like when it comes to budgets those things are subjective and you're gonna have to take a call on that for yourself but i'm giving you a rating based on my using experience then i have my cute little anastasia beverly hills brow gel this is in the shade oh man i'm not gonna be able to medium brown medium brown um if you're the kind of girl that wants just a quick on the go brow product don't want to get into a pencil and not make up enough to do a pomade which people take a little bit of time to get used to i know i did this is one of the quickest like quickie and go kind of products i love the pigment i love the formula i love that it sets your brows down i have found a newfound love for brows over the last year i feel like i am a through and through pomade girl pomade girl whatever you want to call it um and i love how your brows can really truly make or break the way your makeup look looks um so yeah would recommend you get into brows if you haven't already it 
really is that one step that just amps up or elevates makes you look more groomed which is very important to me i am down to one last product about hair before we talk perfumes because i have a few perfumes sitting here next this is the teeny tiny k18 leave-in molecular hair mask i was invited to their event a few months ago and they gave me this to use for the next wash at home and boy did i use it up because my hair felt so good after that k18 service i was excited to come back home the following week and use this and see if i could do the exact same thing i don't think i could get my hair to be as nice and soft as they did at the salon nevertheless really really good product i'm a big fan of products that leave my hair feeling soft cutting away that moisture um feeling like वो फीलिंग जो आती है ना कि मुझे मेरे बालों को बार बार हाथ लगाना है वो नीप टचिंग माई है दिस गिवस यू दैट फीलिंग just going to put that out there in case you're looking for a product like that oh wait sorry sorry one more product before i go into the perfume sorry 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 oh my god i feel bad now um this is the precisely my brow pencil from benefit this is in the shade number 5 it is a really nice um well it's over so there's nothing really to show you but it is a really nice um pencil Can I forget the word pencil? Yeah, it's a really nice pencil to give precision to your brows. So just in case you're not a quickie brows girl, you're a more detailed brows girl. This is what I would recommend to you. Really, really nice. I think I, my love for brows, like the zone that I'm currently in, started because of this product. Goof Proof is a really nice pencil too. But precisely my brow, like the precision it gives you, it makes you want to carve and makes you want to. just makes you want to spend time on your brows basically currently i'm a through and through pomade girl i don't think i'll stop being that for a while because it lets me do everything it lets me be natural it lets me be precise it lets me be full glam it lets me be just i'm i, I can't see myself getting over pomades anytime soon but if you're a pencil girl that's what i'm recommending and now i will talk about perfumes because i have two full size perfumes here and then two chotus that i should talk about here i have yrsel's mon pari i feel like this is one of those fragrances i went through a long phase about and i know i don't really talk about perfumes much i don't know why because i love fragrances i mean i do and i have an entire perfume collection video if you haven't seen that please go watch that and leave me a comment down below and tell me if you want to see an updated perfume collection video cuz my perfume collection has gotten even bigger and a whole lot crazier people who meet me in person no how crazy i am about fragrances cuz i get compliments for the way i smell a lot if there was one compliment i can tell you that i get on a very regular basis um when i go to events and meet people is that i smell nice and that to me is a really special compliment because i've mentioned this in my verified perfume collection launch video that my dad i got, i get that from my dad my dad's love for fragrances uh, knows no bounds and i think i got that from him my brother did too we're all big perfume junkies in that sense mopari had quite a long running phase with me in fact if i remember correctly this was in the dash of my car for a while as well for uh, quite some time and then the next one i have over here is amalfi sunray from zara I don't love Zara fragrances as much as people seem to love them. I do think that they're great, but the craze that I sometimes see for Zara fragrances I don't understand either. Um because I think that they're nice but they don't all last as long. That's my problem, right? However, Amalfi Sanre just I've never been to Italy, but I'd like to go to Italy. and i mean you know the name it's just it's all just there um this is a really good zara perfume that i have truly genuinely loved for a while going to go over to my personal favorites and it's uh, is it weird and funny that i have these over here in my empties i do not know but i have three of them over here because all three of them actually these aren't even the first set of empties when it comes to this particular perfume i have the verified mini set like for her over here i have june i have influence and i have evolution in case you don't know verified is my very own brand it is a clean vegan uh, made in india beauty brand and i launched my fragrances a few months ago and we have five fragrances and what i have over here is evolution which is a very vanilla fruity zone fragrance i have june which is a very feminine floral uh, but also very summer friendly i would say fragrance and then we have influence which is a unisex fragrance um and it's very aqua it's very fresh it's again very summery it's something you could 
have an everyday perfume like if you were one of those people that just wanted one classic for every mood and every day it should be influence um and while i use the full size perfumes in the house and i have i think at the moment in my car i have ego at all times i keep switching it up whenever but i have these minis moving with me in my bags all the time and uh, of course i've used up a ton of these these are not the first time these are empties this is just the first time i've left them in my empties box to share with you over here in case you're coming on from this video and want to make a purchase of these products on uh, verify.in i'm going to give you a special code it is going to be summer love and you can get 10% off on your orders i'm going to go ahead and leave that info on the screen as well just so you have that i love these fragrances i'm really proud of myself if, if i should say so because these are like my brand i did not formulate these from scratch we actually partnered up and got on board a really proper like perfume connoisseur someone who knew his job and knows as they call it in the industry um and i feel like uh, having that expert perfumer on board makes a very big difference in formulation long lastingness and especially when the products are formulated for indian weather because our weather is so much more hot and in mumbai humid and tropical overall it makes a difference when you're working for a specific weather for a specific level of long lasting and you know just customization and with that we come to the end of today's video thank you for always talking to me down below in the comments you know i love reading liking hearing and responding to each and every one of you use the hashtag wefam in your comments so you can possibly get the next wefam comment shout out and today's wefam comment shout out goes to suraksha munirappa thank you so much for watching hit the like button if you enjoyed this video and please turn those bell notifications on so you get alerts for all of my upcoming videos i love you guys so much i'm going to see you in the next one Mwah.